Nightbird is a singer who's auditioned for America's Got Talent and got the golden buzzer. She's a woman with cancer and has a 2% chance of survival. And one of the things she said was, 2% is something. It's not nothing. I know many, many people have watched her song, which is beautiful, and her voice. And after she finished singing, she said, you can't wait until life isn't hard anymore before you decide to be happy. This fits in so well with our practice that we're doing this week of Open Kind Heart. You can't wait until life isn't hard anymore before you decide to be happy. And if you've heard her sing, or maybe you'll go online later and, and hear her sing, she's such an inspiration. And I don't mean that at all in a way of shaming ourselves for not being uh, as positive or as happy as she is. Not at all. We all have struggles. And there are some people who really inspire us as well. Become aware of your whole being. Your body, head to toes. Notice your breath. Bring your attention into your heart center. And as you're settling your attention, one of the ways we do that is we settle our body. We get in a comfortable position. We take some deeper breaths. We relax the tight spots. And notice your forehead and eyebrows, your eyes. Notice your mouth and jaw. If you're clenching your teeth especially, but even if you're not, loosen up the hinges of your jaw. Let your tongue rest. That helps the mind to settle, the thought stream to settle. Notice your throat, the sides of your neck, your shoulders, down through your arms and hands. Bring your attention to the whole back of your body, back of your neck and shoulders, the large muscles of the upper back are a location that's very often holding tension. See if you could let that soften and let go. And down through your lower back into your legs, the back of your legs to your toes, your feet. Through the large muscles at the front of the legs. And then to the front of the torso, coming back up to the face, mouth and jaw, collarbones, and then the large muscles that cover the chest down through the stomach area, navel center, lower belly. So once we've attuned to our physical body and allow it to soften and relax, attune to the breath for a moment. Our body and breath and emotions and thoughts are so connected. They're really all one. And we know that because if we're feeling tension or fear, we often hold our breath or our breath gets kind of shallow. Sometimes if there's great joy, we also hold our breath. There's so many connections. As you're letting your breath soften, let it become more continuous. That helps to stabilize us. We stabilize our attention. It helps to let the nervous system know that now is a time that our body is safe. It's okay to breathe fully or let our belly soften. And then coming back into observing the thoughts in the mind, bring your attention just behind the forehead. Thoughts come in as words or pictures. Sometimes we see words like they're written out. Sometimes, more often, we hear them. Let's for a moment just watch and see what's happening in the thought stream.
Bring your attention to your heart center as well. And let's drop some words in into the silence. This quote from Nightbird, you can't wait until life isn't hard anymore before you decide to be happy. Sometimes I listen to Louis Armstrong's What a Wonderful World. And some of the lyrics are so evocative of what brings us joy. Skies of blue, clouds of white, the bright blessed day and the dark sacred night. Notice what that brings up in your heart. What brings you joy? It could be a moment of stillness in the mind, a moment of peace. I'm blessed to live in a place that has fresh air. When I walk outside in the morning, I really appreciate that. And maybe you could bring up memories of someone you love and care about, who loves and cares about you. And sometimes there is a habit of the mind to go into the negative about something. So as we notice that, we could just refocus. My meditation teacher would often say, enjoy what there is to enjoy. We can suffer what there is to suffer or enjoy what there is to enjoy. And that's not easy. We're not pretending that it's easy. And as a practice right now and as we move about the day, what brings you joy? Let yourself really feel that in your heart center. You might have a smile on your face as you remember. Your body tends to soften. Maybe it's a beautiful piece of music. Notice in your heart center. I'm feeling happy right now. And we could notice the degree to which that's true. Some moments that's going to be way more true than in other moments. But just to sit with that for a minute, and that quote from Nightbird, you can't wait until life isn't hard anymore before you decide to be happy. Now take a few deep breaths. When you're ready, open your eyes.